Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim. Last time we finished, we completed Greywater Grotto and left off at the tail end of what had been a successful offload and we finally got attacked by bandits at Lakeview Manor. Fortunately my house Carl is inside, or maybe not so fortunately depending on how you look at it puts my horses at risk. So although ordinarily I would appreciate the opportunity to earn some skill experience, for this go-round I'm just gonna pop on the ring of her scene, beast form these guys, because otherwise I won't kill them fast enough to protect my horses. It's just not in the cards. It will be once I complete the crafting loop and have my end game gear, but we aren't there yet, as you know. So, no problem. Let's pop on the ring of her scene and let's beast form. So let's go. Good. And I already killed one of my chickens. Wow. Alright, I have to admit I didn't expect that. So... Let's be a little bit more careful in finding a spot where I can finish transforming. Come here, douchebag. Why you felt compelled to murder my chickens? I don't know. Of course, Gunner, my carriage driver, perfectly willing, perfectly willing to ignore the bandits, but you know he's he's got to come make a scene if I uh, if I try to beast for him because werewolves are evil. Good lord! I don't know why they murder my chickens. It kind of pisses me off. It's a fucking douchey thing to do. See, if I actually trusted them to just come after me, I wouldn't have the beast form. I could be more subtle about it. But I don't have that option. Because I can't trust him to stay on me. That's my biggest problem. Fucking hell is here. So, you won't leave your carriage when the bandits are trying to murder everyone. But you see me transform in what's obviously an effort to save everyone's life. I mean, I don't know how else I can make it more obvious. Let's go. Right, where's the last one? You run all the way up here, dude? Leave my horse alone, dick. That's all you've got. Mercy. Good luck with that. Now the only thing I really need to be okay. <clears throat> it's for 
gun you're not to be hostile anymore. And, you know, still being alive would be nice, too. Let's go survey the damage. Before I give up my anchor save and accept this outcome. Both horses lived. That's good. I'm gonna kill the plunderer somewhere down here. There it is. There she is, rather. Take the arrows, the lock picks, and the gold. Don't really care about anything else. Good. Horse is alive. Cow's alive. One chicken alive. Okay. Gun near alive. And the fucking dragon. Are you for real right now? Holy fucking shit. What kind of dragon am I dealing with? Ah! Oh great, of course. Yeah, yeah. No, the second I get invested, that makes sense. Yeah, now go pull a bunch of other things into this fight. Make it a thing. That'll be perfect. You know that's what I really want, right? For you to aggro fucking everything all along the coast of Lake Illinolta. What the fuck are you even doing? Actually, 
thing from the area. Oh, come on! This is really beginning to bother me. Use my forces to serve in combat. I will take that shit. That, well, silver ring. I'm not really interested in it. The rest of them. Oh yeah, no. You you go somewhere else. That's great. And oh yeah, pull something else in. Fucking perfect. Jesus. All I wanted to do was drop some shit off at my house. I get bandits and an ADD dragon. Sit the fuck down. Focus on me. Damn douchebag. Sit the fuck down. Thank you. Alright. Let's grab the bones and scales. Wait for the soul to absorb. And back to my house again. Reason being, that particular dragon scale is the last one I need for Hearthfire. Dragon scales are now complete completely off the list. And that's pretty cool. And since all the shit that's happened has necessitated another offload anyway, I know who you need to go ahead and murder you. Take your shit too. Only the useful shit though. Alright. This has necessitated another trip back to White Run. Let me drop off the one dragon scale I need here. And then let's go do that. <clears throat> See how much time all those shenanigans ate up. Gate guard is dead. Adrian is dead. Thanks to the fucking vampires. I didn't grab anything for selling though, so I don't know why I bothered to wait for the stores to open. What I do have... No, no new enchanting stuff. I think a few new ingredients. Honor to you. Stuff I got that weighs me down is dragon bones and dragon scales that I can use as smithing supplies. There we go. Now we're good. Pain. Let's get out of here. Now, let's fast travel to Helgen. Like I wanted to anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. 
All right. Of course, I made a bunch of potions. Those potions are now gone. But this is where we want to be. Let's unlock the gate we rode through on our execution card at the very beginning of the game. Now this place has been taken over by bandits. We actually start near the end of the uh, escape sequence. Come on! I'll try and make this quick. Can't wait to pound on your car. So by this point we were with Hadvar. Right through there is the keep where we had to make our decision whether to go with Hadvar and Rayloff. I'll level with you. One of my biggest concerns is keeping my horse out of this fight. I don't like it when my horses get killed. Oh, come on. Sorry, I'm getting really grumpy. It's mostly just a holdover from that last series of encounters, which Shouldn't even make me grumpy because I turned out just fine. There's a mage hanging out down there. Not sure what flavor. Apparently, our activities have attracted a couple of bandits. That's never good. i rip you open! I fought worse than you. We got six now. Only these two that seem to really be a pair. Exactly. Greatest in Anyway, we're going to redo the whole tutorial dungeon. Now populated with leveled bandits. Reason being, there is a new boss chest down where, in a very particular spot, it's down where the bridge collapsed. Or not bridge, tunnel. Maybe it was a bridge. After the last big fight with the Storm Globes. Before we fought the, uh... is the word I'm looking for. Before we fought the uh, spiders. If he's gone full stupid, I'll take advantage of it as long as I can. You got a solid plan for killing me? Just run it into that railing there. Pulse. Oh. 
tell you what, you start running so I can stab you in the back. One minor quibble. I get that it all burned, but uh, in real life, burned wood. You know, what day are we on? Like, inside the game, I think it's been over a year, maybe more. It wouldn't still be glowing orange. And if it was still hot enough to glow orange, I would be able to stand in it. But, like I said, bite or quibble. <laughs> Alright. Defensive skills do matter. So I'll let him de as much as it pains me. D stupid, re stupid. Did that just happened. So, um, uh, there seems to be a little too much variance for me to be confident this is permanent, but it's still pretty neat. Premature to be talking about this with six bandits, but I'll just tell you what the plan is. Although Helgen is obviously what. going you to take multiple running, videos, so I can stab you in the back. mainly due to bandit numbers because the the keep is now. I mean, the the layout hasn't changed, but the it's repopulated with a full complement of leveled bandits. So we've got the six out here, plus however many are inside to deal with. Once that's done, <clears throat> you'll notice there are three exits. There's the one we came through, the east gate, which eventually makes its way back to Falkreath, and if we take another ford we haven't explored, goes to Iverstead and Riften. This north one, actually can't tell yet. I'll show you. It also, and you know, road split and relink and what have you. You can get to Fall Creek going out there. You can also actually get to Riverwood. In fact, you can just see Bleak Falls Barrow through there. You might remember when we escaped the tutorial dungeon, we started out on what was barely a path that eventually joined up with a major road, and I just went straight on to Riverwood. The other part of that road comes up to the third entrance, the west entrance, which is actually the exit I'm going to take because we have a couple of little areas to explore over in that range, and that'll kind of complete the interior part of Falkreath Hold. I might 
go ahead and do a tour of that road, at least down to familiar territory. This road eventually, uh, you might remember there were three ways out of Riverwood, one of which we never took. That is this road, eventually goes directly to Riverwood. I'll probably explore all that, just close all those loops and finish them off, but ultimately what we're doing is, number one, exploring Helgen and the surrounding areas, a couple of places, Bone Chill Passage and Ancient's Ascent. They've got different names, but they're really the same location. It's just a very short cave, like literally two animals in it, that leads up to a dragon roost that is Ancient's Ascent, that is obviously more the main point, so to speak. My health is really failing, but I'm not paying attention. You'll be careful to hear the wrong one, you're dead! 71 light armor, that's what I got. That ah, last firebolt missed. I don't like it. Ah. After I quit, I got stuck. That's never good. Yeah, he's not gonna be stupid mode anymore. That's alright. I fought worse than you. This means my job is a little more involved than standing here, waiting for my magic to refill. But not that much more. All six are still on alert. Anyway, once we explore Bone Chill Passage and Ancient's Ascent, along with a little unmarked exterior bandit camp between here and there, that whole area of the map will pretty much be done. Then I'm toying with the idea, I probably will for completion and completion's sake, show you the loop of roads and how they intertwine to close off all that. Then we're gonna go back out there, take that other fork, make our way to Iverstead, the throat of the world, advance the main quest a little bit, and then eventually make our way to Riften. This is all pretty far in the future, although things have sped up in many ways. Our, prog our pace of progress in terms of, you know, dungeon clear speed and things like that really isn't going to skyrocket until that beautiful moment when the crafting loop ends. Speaking of that, when am I going to do another crafting session? Probably after Ancient's Ascent. Seems like a good logical break point to see what I can do with my smithing and enchanting. Really, we're, uh, we're getting to the point now where they're almost, uh, there's a bottleneck of available perk points relative to useful perks I actually want to take. Actually, that may not be true. I think the oh no, I take that back. There are only two things that are currently open that I want. They are, um, Windwalker in the Light Armor Tree and Savage Strike in the one-handed tree. Oh gosh, are you kidding me? That was a miss. You're gonna try and tell me that. How skin That hit the post. Uncanny dodged. This is ridiculous. So is that. To get close, I guess. There we go. Much better. You puny weak. 
Anyway, at least I do respectable damage with each fireball now. You know, in this space, respectable means I can see it on his health. But, oh god damn it, horse! Now I have to speed up. That's alright, I got to do most of the Alright, horse left. And someone else has showed up. And he appears to be running outside toward my horse. Ah, uh, but he's just an outlaw. Hardly care. Hardly care about an outlaw. How's my time? 31 minutes. Alright, alright. Oh god damn it. There are many things I'll tolerate, but a point blank miss. Nope. Too absurd a proposition. Sorry. Pray to Stendar while you can. Oh. Yep. As I was saying, I think the only perks I want that are currently open to me are Savage Strike. Oh no! Savage Strike and all three Bladesmans in the one-hand tree. Those are the ones I'm not including in my calculation. Uh, I get Critical Shot 3 out of the Archery tree. Okay, yeah, there are And I can get... Like I said... Now there are six? There were seven? Jesus. I mean, whatever. But, I look. There you are. How skin you are. Don't like having to fight guys in exterior zones. I lose a lot of my cheesy tricks. <laughs> I have to take them straight up. It takes longer and it's more dangerous. It's probably. Ah, no oh, fuck you! And everyone who looks like you, Mr. Kill Cam Inventor. Just the game deciding you're not going to have the opportunity to dodge infuriates me. That's why I couldn't stand Diablo 3. Damn you! Yeah, good luck making that happen, Broski. thing is, even if I do manage to hit him without coming out of hiding, which it clearly isn't going to let me do, it's... Oh, maybe it will. He'll run farther away, you start as you running can see. So I can stab One, two, back. three, four, five, six. I knew there were six. Skin you alive. Let's go back over here. How do I get better over here? Mostly because the demonstrated possibility of getting one of you to go full stupid. I fought worse than you. This works pretty well too. I like this. Really like it in this. Keep it coming, dummies. You're a fool to fight me. Yeah, 
Let me see how many perks I'm sitting on. Sorry, I know it's not exciting, but I just kind of want to have an idea. Yeah, I haven't taken any of the Bladesmans. I eventually want all three. I've got two of those and Savage Strike open, so that's three in one hand. One in archery, critical shot three, that's four. Uh, wind walker in light armor, that's five. A five open to me now. The burn points on me. <laughs> Fucking hell, it went through his head! I can't be the only one who noticed that. It's... That shit bothers me. Collision detection glitches, but... Whatever. They're gonna happen, I suppose. But I have to admit, a bit of an immersion breaker for me. Watch my fireball sail harmlessly through an orc's head. It kinda seems like... There should be some kind of problem there. Some kind of resistive effect when the fire contacts the orc flesh. No one messes an orc. What I want to do in the shorter term, this alone will probably take a couple of videos based on the pace I'm seeing now. You're a fool to fight. It'd be faster if I could isolate them. Faster still, if I could think of a way to allow myself to restore magic if I'm waiting. But we don't always have those options. So I'm going to clear the exterior. Once these two are down, I'm somewhat hopeful that'll give me enough of a breather to at least just wait out the alert status on the other four. Then I want to backtrack. You know, I want to reverse the route we came so during the round back dead. to where the executioner's block was. Looks like I'll have three bandits to deal with as I do that and kind of access the west entrance. It's so much easier to rob one. You're dead. Once I'm over there, then I'll circle back, kill this last bandit mage, assuming I don't have to do it sooner. That will probably create the need for an offload if I don't have to do one earlier. Once that's over, then we'll come back and we'll re we'll clear out the new keep. I'll show you what's real. Like I mentioned, the layout hasn't changed, but it's staffed with bandits up to where the collapse happened. That's the end of what I guess you could call the new dungeon. And there's a new boss chest there, which is exciting. When that's done, I'll consider it cleared. And we'll be ready to move on. Pray to Stendar while you can. I'll skin you alive. Gonna cry now, huh? Anyway, of those five that are open to me now, the most valuable is definitely, uh, Windwalker. So I'll take it. You 
any weakling. I'll kill you! Best of luck to you, Brother Rich. Perfect. Well, that's what you want. You want to survive, of course, but you want to take uh, the maximum damage. Seriously? It's like he knows what's coming. Boys running away. So much ah! to roll. Thank you. You're a fool to fight me. Anyway, I'm not too worried about getting perk points yet. Ah! I'm gonna hit a real bottleneck soon. Everything's moving at a nice clip, so the only real worry is the fact that I don't have a way to raise Conjuration yet. That's responsible for three of my third points. And I don't have the spells yet. If it gets to the point where everything else has maxed, and I still don't even have a Conjuration spell, I'll probably go ahead and Legendary Illusion. Just so I can get... ...this last few I need. Oh, Forty-three minutes. Show you a real fight. I'll skin you alive. I don't want to waste any firebolts on the outlaw until the plunderer is down. He's the threat. Skin you alive. Not only is he the threat, he's the I'll one try and make actually this quick. battle axe. The outlaw's the threat if I let him hit me enough. But the uh, and wait oh. and count ah. he's the hold up in terms of time. Ready to stop while you can. Ah. Yeah, I don't think I would have survived that power attack, so... It'll be so much easier to rope oh, when you're God dead! Damn it. That's about the last thing you want to see. I'll show you what a real... Just die! 
Oh, come on! What the hell? So much easier to rob when you're dead! He's just there, conveniently. Ugh. I'll have my I'll show you a real fight. There we go. I'll shatter your bones like glass. Tell you what, you, you stop running weakly. so I can stab you I in think that if I chain together the full four firebolts, yeah. I can kill, do enough damage fast enough to kill him, so... When it comes time for him to take Weren't a knee, I'm gonna that, wait for a full magic refill. I think we're I within a firebolt or two of that. Oh yeah, yeah, no, let him make his way up here. Yeah. Oh, and then then let him kill Cam me. Yeah, that's great too. Fuck you, game. It's what you want! Surrounded, fall back! See, and that's kinda what I thought. I kinda thought the next one was gonna do the trick. But it seems the game has decided. It's time for him to make his way up here, and that's fair enough. There's actually no reason a core trailing should represent an insurmountable barrier. Just because it has doesn't mean it should. There's no real valid reason why that should I'll have show a you good a real barrier. Fight. It just makes me split your friendly like an old woman to earth. So I'm gonna let everything refill. Take as many hits as I can, and then finish all the way off. Now let me let me take a few looks. That looks good. Now I'm just gonna wait for the magic to refill. On one hand, I'm fairly confident it will take. On the other, a little bit of extra health will make me more confident in surviving whatever blows come from the outlaw. That's my clock. 48 minutes. Alright, alright. Oh, fucking hell. And of course he decides to go the other way. Why would he just come at me? That'd be crazy, right? One piece of shit. Yeah, I guess you do. <laughs> Give up while you still can! Come on, hit me again. There you go. Uh, that's all I'm giving you by way of free hits. And this isn't gonna take nearly as long. By virtue of your weakness. Go ahead, try and fight back. So I got one, two, three, four, five. Looks like it really is just five. That's good. Can't win this. Got bro. Come at me, bro. Uh, uh, ah, yes. Another topic of conversation. And uh, somebody, Grief Grumble the Mauler, 
commented on, I can't remember if it was one or two videos ago, I think just the last one. I had recorded it, but not uploaded it before the trailer for the new Deus Ex dropped. Holy shit am I ever excited. Human Revolution was so fucking good. God, I love that game. And as I jokingly said to a friend of mine, to express my disdain for the middle child of what was a trilogy, I just, I don't, didn't ever have any much love for Invisible War. As you can probably tell. It's, what you want, huh? it's a shame, a real shame, that a game as great as Deus Ex didn't warrant a sequel for 11 years. I'll try and make this quick. Yeah, Mankind Divided. Granted, haven't seen any gameplay trailers, but I'm assuming gameplay is going to be substantially similar to the Revolution. I think that's a fair assumption. Which means it's going to be fucking awesome. <laughs> and... Yeah, yeah, it's going to be on PS4 and Xbox One. Great. I'm going to run it on this beast with my GTX 980, so gonna look a hell of a lot better, I'll put it that way. The amazing thing to me is, GTX 980 was the top-end card when I bought it to assemble this computer. There was nothing better on the market. Now, there are already better graphics cards out in the PC market. Enough of this. I've had this thing for well, literally about a season. I it's April now, I built it in January. Already better hardware is available if you're a PC gamer. If you're a console gamer, the hardware for your PS4 and Xbox One has not improved. And will not improve. Even if I don't upgrade this machine for the entire run of the consoles. Okay, now that was funny. Somehow kill cam to me out of midair. Couldn't actually do the kill cam. So, I don't know. It zoomed me out and couldn't figure out what to do with itself. That was pretty funny. Even if I don't install any upgrades in this wonderfully modular device through the entire run of this console generation, and let's be clear, when they're warranted, I'm gonna install some fucking upgrades. But, uh... Even if I didn't, this thing will be dramatically superior to this generation of consoles for the entire duration of its life. And even if I waited till the end of the console generation, I probably wouldn't have to shell out any for anything other than a new GPU in order to beat whatever comes so next on a planet console. Alright. If the next Firebolt is really going to make him take a knee, then I'm going to do some waiting. Point being, I thoroughly enjoy being a PC gamer. Which is not to say I have hatred this. for consoles, like many PC gamers do. In fact, I own a PS4. I believe I've mentioned it more than once. Us. Uh, why? Well, on the one hand, it's great for all of its non-gaming applications. It's pretty spectacular. You start running, and, uh, so I can stab you there's the still something to be said for the couch and controller vibe. I can play some games with my wife, the one that I'm able to talk her into playing with me. And... There are enough exclusives that I think it's worth owning. Consider the fact that the glorious, glorious playable teaser for Silent Hills was a PS4 exclusive. I mean, shit. I would have shelled out the 400 bucks just for the experience of playing PT for the first time. Do I like the idea of platform exclusives? Yes and no. In terms of the fact that 
if a game you really want turns out to be exclusive for another system, you have to suck it up and get it. Yeah, that kind of sucks. But, on the other hand, I think there's a developmental focus that goes into single platform exclusives, be they for consoles or PC, ultimately results in a lot more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Technical proficiency, lack of bugs, optimized code, however you want to say it, I think you get the picture of what I'm talking about when they only develop for one platform. I think one of the biggest problems in New Thief, part of the reasons it's developed, maybe the biggest reason its development was so troubled and why the end product was so mediocre, not only they didn't merely try to develop for three platforms, that's hard enough, they tried to develop for five. They tried to make a game that crossed two console generations and was a competent PC game. I could have told you. That project was an exercise in futility. That is what they tried to do. And I think that's probably a big part of why they failed. Okay. So you take the north gate out of Helgen. You end up at this fork. I think this is the one that goes to Riverwood, but let me check. I may be wrong. I may be headed to unfamiliar territory. We'll find out. Just trying to show you these roads really quick. So we're running up against my time limit. I have four bandits left to kill inside Helgen. And... I don't really have time to engage the next one, but... What I do have time to do is close these particular exploration loops. So that's what I'm going to try to do. That's Riverwood. Up oh, there is actually a different, an entirely different set of dungeons. Up there, Riverwood comes into view. I can start sprinting, it's not going to bum rush me with anything this close to town. Let's cut through the switchbacks until we get somewhere we've been before. Namely, that tree stump we have previously harvested. And you can see that road swings down through the gate into Riverwood. Back where we got that hawk way back in the day. You remember? Beverage Farm remembers. <laughs> so, let's head back up here now. We'll ignore that side path for now, because it's actually going to a dungeon we'll do quite a bit later. We act, we s it's uh, pretty sensible to skip it in your current round of explorations, because oddly enough it features into the Destruction Ritual spell quest. So if we do it now, we'll get sent back, but it won't have changed layouts or anything like the other dungeons. I do voluntarily complete more than once. So, back here. What I'm really trying to do is get back to that fork. This way to Helgen. Well, where does this road go? Huh. Goes to an iron vein. Don't mind if I do. Still need a ton of that shit. Oh, what in the fuck is this? And how did they get injured so badly? No, like, seriously, what is going on? That's all you've got? Can't hide from me. I 
They're fighting hunters. Is this a random encounter? Bandits fighting hunters? I don't care to fight these fools. I'll guard you into pieces! True Nords never back down! Just, it eventually gets to a point where I get it. And maybe it's my fault because I insist on doing everything. Don't allow myself to be made things ever. But, fuck the clown. Please don't kill me! Oh no, yeah, I'm gonna spare you after you just bum rushed me and tried to murder me for no fucking reason. Yeah, that puts me in a forgiving mood. Dick. I'm sorry your dog was murdered, Mr. Hunter. Oh, where did you go? There he is. He's decided he's gonna mine. Fair enough. But, uh... I'm interested in this. You could have just... He does have useful stuff. Let's grab it. No horker tusks. At this point, believe it or not, that's the only thing I could pickpocket from him that would still be on my list. That's kind of exciting in its own right. So let me quickly see. I am really confused by how damaged those uh, bandits were. So let me just see. Um... There's nothing for hunter and dog fighting bandits. <clears throat> nope, 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 nope. Huh. That's really weird, but... Yeah, nothing, nothing there. We're going over the one hour mark now, but I don't care that much. I'm going to get this done. So I don't have to worry about it. Clearing the roads around Helgen, I mean. <laughs> ah, now this should look familiar. There, my friends is the path we took out in the first place. That beehive should look familiar. So we've gone full circle on all those roads. Let me head back to Helgen now. Fine to move into the next video. So I got four bandits left to kill. At least one of them's a mage, the one guarding the keep. And I'm not obscenely past the one hour mark, but I am past it. So let's go stealth mode again. Let me just point out to you. Alright, there's Helgen Keep. Awesome sauce. Two exits. Don't be fooled by that door. I don't know why it textured itself in like that, because as you can plainly see, it's not real. <laughs> now you can go directly over this rubble, but 
I don't know, I like, I prefer the aesthetic of backtracking the way we were initially led by Hadvar. You end up in the same place, of course, so it doesn't matter too much. You got rubble here. You can find your way through it. But I find it a little bit interesting to actually search the inn that Is we jumped there? to. And we have found the next bandit, so we will do that search on the next installment of Let's Play Skyrim. Amazingly, although I felt like some things went smoothly and some things were accomplished, I have nothing written down as something that got taken off my list. Go figure. Next time, we'll keep going in Helgen. We'll hopefully at least finish off the exterior bandits and make our way to the keep. Until then, thank you very much for watching, and have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.